doing a full face of makeup using only e.l.f. Cosmetics. Ta-da! I'm really excited. Um, if you guys hear a faint humming in the background, it is my air conditioner. It's almost 100 degrees outside right now. So for the sake of my life, um, I am keeping my air conditioner on. So hopefully you guys can live through the buzz in the background of this video. My next few videos might have the buzz because we're getting a heat wave here in California. So sorry, that's what happens when you have a home studio. But anyways, let's do this full face of e.l.f. makeup. I'm really excited too because e.l.f. is cruelty free and it's really, really, really inexpensive. Most everything here is under $5. Some things are only like a dollar or two, so you can do a full face of makeup for like 20 smackers or 30 smackers, which isn't too shabby. So, let's do it! Okay, so to start with, I'm going to use this illuminating moisturizer. I'm using a new camera, so Bear with me as I'm learning the new tricks of the trade. This is just a nice, supposed to be a nice, ooh, it smells nice. Um, it's supposed to add a little bit of shimmer to your skin. So I'm just applying this to my entire face. Ooh, that feels real nice. So I'm going to use this um, foundation. It is the oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen foundation. I'm always a fan of any products that have, <sighs> this is really hard to, oh. It just lifts, just kidding. Damn it. And I'm using this um, makeup blender. This is the, the sort of beauty blender by e.l.f. Um, it seems very sturdy, which is nice. It doesn't feel cheap. And I like that it actually has this little rim so you can hold on to it while you're doing your makeup. Sometimes the beauty blender is a little awkward to use. I hope this foundation matches my skin. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. So this seems to be a fairly light coverage foundation. So I'm going to layer it. My skin is really, really bad right now. That's what happens when you have surgery and you sit on the couch for two weeks and don't wash your face properly. Ooh, whatever is happening here. I don't know if it's the moisturizer or the foundation, but my skin is oily. I generally have combination skin. This time of year, my skin gets a little bit more oily just because it's more humid in the air. But generally, my skin is not shiny after I put foundation on, so this is like next level. I'm definitely gonna need some powder. All right, moving right along. Now I am going to use the concealer. Ah, this is the under eye concealer and highlighter duo. We're gonna do both today because I wanna test out both of these bad boys. Little concealer under the eyes. I have actually used this under eye concealer before in another video. It conceals pretty well, but it does crease, so you really wanna make sure you really set it with powder. And I like that it's nice and light for my super, super fair skin. It's real liquidy too, so if you're used to a heavier concealer, this is definitely not that. But for being liquidy, it still conceals pretty darn well. So now I'm using the Perfect Finish HD powder. This is clear, which I think they mean translucent. So you can see it's white. So we'll see, hopefully it's not super pale. Oh, no, looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same powder. Oop. And I'm actually gonna use this foundation brush. It's the ultimate blending brush. It's good for foundation, but I don't actually have a powder brush and I am determined to only use e.l.f. products in this video. So we're gonna use this. Plus, I need actually some heavy, heavy powder coverage because my skin is so shiny. So this is actually gonna be a good little tool for me. This powder is actually really good. It's taking my shine away immediately. The under eye concealer isn't as full coverage as I like. I do have dark under eye circles. So for you gals that have dark under eye circles, I suggest maybe a different brand's under eye concealer. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of Contour just a little, little tiny bit just to use these products. So this is the white in that concealer pack. Should have actually put this on before my powder, but I didn't. So there you have it. I actually like this white highlighter versus a shimmery highlighter, especially because this foundation is so shiny. So I feel like if you're using a shim shimmery highlighter, it's gonna be just add more shine to your face. Now I'm gonna use this which is kind of confusing. It is a blush and contour palette. However, the blush that's supposed to be light pink is kind of a dark peachy brown color. It's almost more of a bronzer than a blush. I'm gonna use it today, but first I'm gonna use the darker color and this little contour brush. This is number 104. Let's see, hopefully this isn't too dark. Ooh, ooh it's pretty dark. All right, that's okay, we'll blend. 
I also should have done this before I applied my powder, but like I said, I didn't. So we're gonna roll with it. This is actually pretty good. It's very blendable. I'm using just a little, little bit of it though. For you pale girls, you don't wanna use too much of this. And I'm using a darker color in this palette. So then with that ultimate blending brush, I'm just gonna apply the blush color, which is that little, ooh, <laughs> peachy color. See if it even adds anything. I feel like it's not that different from the color of my skin. Oh, it adds a little, little flush, little bronzy flush. I feel like this is definitely a good summer blush because it does add some bronze to your face instead of that peachy glow. All right, so we are not doing a pinup look today, so I'm not gonna do too much of this. It definitely has some shimmer to it. So beware if you don't like shimmer, but if you do like shimmer, then yay. All right, now I'm gonna use their eyelid primer. I'm actually using more of a liquidy shadow today, but hopefully this helps it stay a little bit more. I know usually with the inexpensive brands, the problem is pigmentation in the powders, so anything we can do to make these brighter. Although, Elf is pretty darn good. You know, honestly, their brushes are so good, especially for the price. I'm gonna use this, and this is their, um, doesn't have a label. It would help you guys, Elf, if you labeled your products, because once you throw the packaging away, you don't know what the heck it is. Let me get the packaging. Okay, so this eyeshadow is the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Soiree, which is this sort of um, purpley color. I have not used this before, so we'll see. This is also a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I think it might be easier to use my finger, but I'm gonna start with my brush and see what happens. Finger it is. All right, so these long-lasting, lustrous eyeshadows go on better with your finger. It's got good pigment, though. So I'll probably use my brush to finish the blending, but just to get this on my lids, my finger is pretty darn good. All right, see if this will work for the edges. Yes, it will. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna see, just see, this is the um, bottom shader, or just a shader, I guess. I'm gonna see if this will work, because it's hard to get my fingers around my bottom lashes. You really have to get a lot of product on your brush to make the brushes work, though. That is one thing with e.l.f. makeup, is that most of their shadows and powders and blushes have shimmer in their product. So if you are a matte girl, um, e.l.f. might not be your brand. But if you are a shimmer girl, then e.l.f. is the jam. Moving on along. Next thing I'm going to do is some liquid liner. I'm gonna do a thin, oh, I'm smoking crack. We're gonna do eyebrows first. I'm not actually smoking crack. Brow pencil, yay! This is just the e.l.f. brow pencil in brown. Unfortunately, I could not find an auburn. I don't know if they make an auburn. I really wish that they did if they do not because, duh. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows the same shape that I always do. Okay, it's really bothering me how dark brown my eyebrows are, so I'm actually gonna use this eyeshadow palette. It's Peach Squad, and I'm going to use the peachy, a mix between the peachy and the bronze, not too much of the bronze because it does have some gold in it, um, but I'm gonna hope this is gonna add a little something in there so that my brows are not so brown. Perfect, yay. Oh, and I'm using the eye brow brush. If you ever have a hard time matching your brow color to your hair, using an eyeshadow will definitely help. I would go with a base of a pencil or a pomade so that it really sticks to those brows and then go over with a shadow to sort of add the color in. Because then the color will stick to the, um, the other formula you have used. It's a really nice brush. And I like that it has a spoolie on it too because I have unruly brows. Unruly spoolie. Now I'm going to do my liner. Same eyeliner. And I'm just going to do a thin line because I'm going to go over it with a different eyeliner too. So like I said, just a really, really thin line. And I am doing a wing, but a nice, thin, pointy, long wing. I like this liner because it's nice and liquidy, but if you are a beginner, definitely start with a felt tip because this will be really difficult to use. Now we're going to use this cream eyeliner dun, 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 in teal tees. I've not used their cream eyeliner before, so we will see. This will be an adventure, and I'm using their eyeliner brush. So I'm just gonna line right on top. It might actually be a better idea to use the waterproof black first, because then if you mess up this over the top of it, it's not gonna smudge your black. I was not smart enough to do that, so I just have to be extra careful. And then I'm gonna do a little line on the bottom, sort of block in that black. Ooh, that's good pigment. I like it. 
I'm gonna do some dots because why not? And I really like the texture of this. So I'm gonna do just three. For the mascara, I'm going to do this liquid lip primer. And I'm gonna do this first because it needs to dry on your lips before you apply your lipstick. And I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. So let's see. It feels very moisturizing. That's nice. Okay, now we're doing mascara. And this is just the e.l.f. volumizing mascara. I really like this applicator, but I don't love the formula. As you can tell, it's not really doing a lot for my lashes. It's actually kind of making my lashes look thinner than they were. But no fear, because I have fake eyelashes. Gah, son of a bitch. Story of my life, you guys. Good thing I put this on with my fingers. Okay, now let's put some fake lashes on. And these are actually e.l.f. lashes, yay! Um, I am not using e.l.f. eyelash glue. I'm not even sure if e.l.f. makes eyelash glue. I haven't ever seen it. I know they make almost everything. Oh, hey, look. There's e.l.f. glue in here in this little kit. We'll see. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go back to my old duo. Because duo is my friend. Okay, so this glue has this like strange, I don't know if you can see it. Focus camera. Let's see how it works. It smells like rubber cement which scares me a little bit. It seems to be sticking pretty good. I'm gonna give it a little curl because these lashes are kind of straight. And it doesn't wanna stay. That was a lot of work to get that to stay. I'm gonna use my Duo eyelash adhesive on the other side. The eyelashes are really good, the glue not so much, but honestly, I generally don't ever use the glue that comes with the packs of lashes even when they're good lashes. I am loyal to my good old Duo. This will be the only product that I use in this video that is not Elf. This glue actually isn't terrible, it's just kind of a lot of work, whereas the duo isn't a lot. So if you are on a super, super tight budget, um, it's not unworkable. Hydration is important. Alright, let's get this bad boy on. Alright, so maybe it wasn't the glue. These lashes are a little difficult to work with. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's because they're so straight, they don't have curl to them. Alright, my lips feel really sticky, so I hope that means my lipstick is going to stick. We will see. I'm actually using their lip lacquer, which is their version of a liquid lipstick, so I don't know if it really um, makes a difference if you use a primer, but I'm using all the products today, so we shall see. Oh, this is a uh, tea rose. Okay, I was wrong. This is not a liquid lipstick. This is more of a very tinted lip gloss, I think, unless it's supposed to be drying and I don't know about it. That's it. That's my full face using e.l.f. cosmetics. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial and I'm shedding all over the place. Ah, summertime. Um, I swear I'm like a dog. Ooh, that lip gloss smells or tastes really good. It's very sweet. Hmm, interesting. It's definitely a gloss. It has not hardened into a matte lipstick, so that is definitely a gloss. There you go. Um, anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys want to see me using doing any other full brand tutorials, let me know. Obviously, it's hard to do like a Dior because it's Dior and it's really expensive. And um, I don't have that much money. So I will do my best to accommodate if you want me to do a all of one brand video. Hope you guys are well. And as always, subscribe if you want more. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.